welcome to your restorative practice here in the third trimester of our prenatal series. Of course, no matter where you're at in your pregnancy journey, you're welcome to take part in this big, warm, cozy, prop-filled practice. Before we begin, I am using a few different things in class today. I have a yoga bolster. If you don't have a bolster at home, a pillow or a couple pillows work just great. Yoga block. So I have one set up here just below my bolster. Another one handy if you have it at home. I also will be using a small hand towel. Uh, it will be used more like a yoga strap. So if you have a yoga strap, you're welcome to use that, but a small hand towel or a t-shirt work just great for what we'll need it for. Okay. And I also have a blanket. You're welcome to have a few of those handy just to keep you warm and support different parts of your body as we come in and out of a few different shapes. Now with the restorative practice, we'll only work through a few in this sequence today, but my invitation for you is to hang out, relax in these shapes for as long as it's comfortable in your body. So if that means pausing the video so you can stay longer, please do that. With that, I also invite you to turn on a nice gentle playlist, any of your favorite relaxing tunes you can play in the background so that you can really sink deep into uh, this practice and this time on your mat. We'll begin together in a reclined position using the support of the bolster and the block. So you see I have it at a slight incline. I have my makeshift yoga strap nearby. Just eventually we will incorporate that into the shape. And you're welcome to set up your lower body in a cross leg position, in a bound angle position that swells the feet together, knees open up. Okay. Or some of you may feel comfortable with the legs extended. Totally up to you and you're welcome to switch it up once you've settled in. I'm going to start with a bound angle. Slowly lower yourself onto your pillow or your bolster. And then bring your arms to a comfortable position, whether that's out to either side of your space. Feel that really nice opening across the chest. May feel comfortable to bring your hands to the front of your hips, over your baby and your belly. Whatever feels most comfortable for you in this moment. This is a great shape to both start the practice with and end the practice with. So I'll put that out there and leave that with you if you are going to pause the video uh, or continue on once this clip ends, you're welcome to, to have that in mind. And you're welcome to change up the position of your lower body at any point if you do start to feel uncomfortable or if you start to feel any numbing or tingling sensations, anything that doesn't feel right. In our restorative practice, we have this invitation with the use of props to fully disengage the muscles, to relax fully into the shape and the opening of space in the body. If anything feels like work or you're resisting, add another prop. So that may mean placing a block underneath your knees or extending your legs long. Maybe it means increasing or decreasing the recline of your pillow or bolster. If there's any compression in your low back, it may mean you need to reposition your spine on your pillow or bolster. But the goal is to be as comfortable as possible as you allow yourself to completely unwind.
This may be a good place to pause this video so that you can stay in stillness and melt deeper and deeper into the pose over your next 10 to 20 breaths. And when you're ready to continue on, press play, and I'll guide you into the next shape in this practice. When you are ready to move on, you can bend into both knees, feet meet the mat, knees point up towards the ceiling. Can you windshield wiper your knees from side to side, rock them right and left? And to come off of the bolster, we'll roll over one side. You plant your fingertips and gently press yourself all the way up. Now we will change the bolster position, move the block out of the way, and come into a sideline position using the pillow or the bolster uh, as a pillow. Lower down onto your left side to start, and let's slide the bolster back so we're more on to the edge of the bolster. Okay, just because we are going to add a little bit of movement. Knees are stacked. If knees together doesn't feel great for the hips, this is a great place to incorporate a block just between the knees, block even a rolled up blanket or towel. And take your time to get comfortable here. With your hands out in front, palms together, we're going to add some slow shoulder circles. Make sure you feel really comfortable in this side position. And then with your inhale, can you reach your right fingertips up overhead and exhale, sweep them back behind you. Two more, big inhale breath, big circular motion for the shoulder. And exhale, reach back. One more time, big inhale, breath. And exhale, meet back through center. Take as many of those as you like. You can take any position with your hands to invite in that complete relaxation of every muscle in the upper body. Melt heavy into your left side body. And again, you're welcome to pause and stay here for 10 to 20 of your own deep, full, honest breath as you melt deeper and deeper into relaxation. I will invite an addition to this shape if you're interested in adding a little bit more. So if you would like to continue on, start by removing your block. Place it somewhere where it's handy to move over to the other side. Extend your legs down the length of your mat and we'll take a sideline quad stretch. So bend into your top knee. Maybe you can reach back with your right hand to find your right foot. Okay, so we're resting here on this side a gentle drawing back of your right foot, your heel in towards your right glute. Okay. You're welcome to keep both bent knees if that feels more stable for you in your body. And try to avoid any deep arching of the spine, any deep back bending, just a gentle bit of pressure between the hand and the foot to create sensation through the front of the right knee. Just a few rounds of breath here. We won't stay too long. If you feel anything in your knees, I'd recommend skipping this shape and instead just enjoying the rest in your side line position. Okay. 
And whether you've paused or you're still following along, take a few more rounds of breath for yourself. We'll set up on the other side when you're ready. So remove the block, roll over through center. If it feels more comfortable to sit up, you're welcome to do so. And we'll eventually roll over to the right side body. Slide your bolster so you're right at the edge. Block can meet in between your knees. Arms reach out in front, and then we add those slow circles. Tar top arm will reach up and reach back. A couple more here. And once again, if you know this feels really good and you'd, you'd like to take a few more, stick with it. I'd invite you to match the movement with your breath so it's really slow and controlled. And eventually your palms will meet as you settle into the sideline position. You can pause here, hold for 10 to 20 breaths. or you're welcome to explore the quad stretch. If you did so on the other side, extend your legs long. Bend your top knees, we're on the left side this time, resting on the right side body, but exploring the bend on the left knee. Your left hand will reach back and see if you can pivot your palm open so you have the big toe edge of your right, sorry, your left foot. So that allows a nice opening across the chest as you gently open the front of the left hip. Soft stretch for the quad. Be mindful of your knees. And you're welcome to pause me here and stay for a few rounds of breath. We will transition out of this shape from sideline, so you can softly release your knee when you're ready to do so. Bend back into both knees, press into your left fingertips really slowly, and come back through center. Good. A couple more shapes here. We will option to move the bolster, the pillow out of the way. And this might be where the blanket feels nice to have. So I'm going to place it in the middle of my mat okay, and lay it out just about to that height. You can play around with what's most comfortable for you, but I'm allowing this to support my back as I come all the way down onto my back. I brought my strap, substitute towel with me. And we'll start with both knees bent. Take your time to get settled into the back body. You can rock your knees from side to side just to invite some balance back in. Okay. Have a block handy as well on the right side, stacked at its highest setting. Then we'll slowly bring the right knee in towards the outer right line of the torso. You might take a few gentle circular movements for the hip a few times in each direction. Okay. And then lift your leg up towards the ceiling. Now here are your options. Option one, you may be able to comfortably place your hands somewhere on the back of your right leg. If that doesn't feel super comfortable, that's where the prop can be really handy. We'll take the prop over the sole of the right foot, 
Find a soft grip on either side of the prop and then slowly guide your leg slightly out towards the right and then in towards the body. So the goal is to avoid compressing into the belly, but we're awakening a gentle sensation along the back of the right leg. Now again, because this is restorative, we are aiming to disengage um, intense sensation, intense muscle stretching. So the prop will actually help you to find more ease and softness in this stretch than force. Okay, so take your time to find that, that balance for you. Whether you're staying here in this shape or pausing or sorry, moving along with me. I'm going to add another layer to this by moving into a slow opening. So you'll take both ends of your prop into your right hand, your left hand to the front of your left hip, and then slowly open your right leg to the right side of your space. Okay, this is where the block may come in handy to open up and slowly lower your right leg to rest on the block. Okay, this is a great place to stay. Some of you may feel comfortable extending your left leg long. If you are experiencing any ligament pain in your pregnancy, the leg extension might trigger that. So the bent knee is a great place to stay. And now your invitation to pause the video, stay, hold, and sink into your rest for the next 10 to 20 breaths or longer if you need it is there for you. And when you are back, We'll transition out of the shape by softly bending the right knee to guide it through center. Use a little bit of strength with your right arm to bring it back and then lower your right foot down to the mat. Windshield wiper your knees again from side to side. Take your block, if you are using it, shift it over to the other side. And then left knee will draw in towards the chest. Start with your slow circles a few times in each direction. Lubricate the hip joint and extend through your left leg with or without your prop. You'll know what is best for your body if it's okay to have that interlace grip soft in the back of your left leg, take it. Otherwise, add your strap, your towel, your t-shirt, Begin with one end of your strap in each hand to explore this initial variation. You can bend your knee as much as you need to. Open your leg slightly to the left before we move into that additional layer. And if you're staying here, pause the video, stay for 10 or 20 breaths as you sink in. If you're adding on, take both ends of your strap to your left hand, <clears throat> excuse me, and slowly open up towards the left. And you may need to reposition your block and slowly settle your leg to its resting place. And then take your time to fully surrender into all of the support you have from your strap, your block, your blanket, your pillow. Give your muscles permission to slowly soften. If there's anywhere in your body that is feeling tight and tense, Hey, how can you invite a bit more ease? We're giving the full self permission to relax here. The physical body, the mental body, the spiritual, emotional bodies. Uh, let's settle in. Pause me here and stay for your 10 to 20 breaths. When you begin your transition out, you can come all the way back through center. 
soften your left knee down to the mat. You can move your strap out of the way. Windshield wiper your knees from side to side. Roll over your favorite side, right or left. We'll press up to prepare for our last pose here in this class. Slow, mindful transitions, no rush. Okay. Now, if you have a wall handy that you can set yourself up on, um, I encourage you to move your mat and your props closer to a wall. I will demo without using a wall here today, just to give you an idea of your options of the shapes you can settle into. So the pose is a variation of legs up the wall or multiple variations of legs up the wall. So you do have the option to use your bolster. It will give the hips a really nice lift. I won't use the bolster just because I'm not up against the wall here, but a bolster underneath the hips is great if you do have it resting against the wall knowing that it won't slide. Okay. You can also use your blanket. I'm gonna roll mine up into uh, a few layers here so I have it in half. Okay. And that's how I'm going to set up. You can also use blocks if you have those, especially if they're soft blocks, it will feel really nice. Okay, so when you're ready, you'll come over to whatever setup you have here. Okay. And place your hips up onto your props and your legs up the wall. Okay. So I have an imaginary wall here. I have this support at my sacrum, so that flat place at the base of the spine. Okay. And with your legs resting up on the wall, okay, your options are option one, legs extend straight, soft bend in the knees as much as you need to. Option two, you can come into a reclined bound angle variation, soles of the feet together, knees soften in towards the wall. Or option three, a straddle position. Okay, open up, legs are straight. Again, soft bend in the knees as much as you need to. Heels rest up on the wall. I encourage and welcome you to explore all three, depending on how they feel in your body. You can open up your arms to a T or a cactus. You can rest your hands on the front of your hips or over your belly and baby. So again, this is your invitation to Pause the video once you found the shape that feels really good and comfortable, nurturing, supportive in your body. And give yourself 10, 20, 30 breath to really sink into the shape you've landed in. If anything is causing discomfort, modify your props, modify your position. Okay, and when you are ready to come out of this shape, really mindfully draw your knees towards your body, towards the outer edge. You can rock from side to side and eventually find your way to a seated position as you roll over and slowly press yourself up. Okay. And to close off today's class, here's my invitation for you to find any shape that is so comfortable for you to completely sink into. So if there was a pose in this short sequence that felt really good and supportive, set yourself up in that once again, and that's where you'll close class. If you would like to come back into your legs up the wall in a different variation to close practice, you're welcome to do so. 
If you're comfortable in Shavasana, you're welcome to set up. So that's a corpse pose laying out on your back. I'm going to close the same way that we started this practice together, setting up my incline with my pillow, my bolster, and a block. In my bound angle variation, so the soles of the feet together, knees open up, and slowly fold all the way down. So whichever pose you are settling into, whether it's on the back, sideline, legs up the wall, can you give yourself permission to take a few rounds of breath to sink in? Can you check in with how you feel mentally, emotionally, physically in this new moment? Can you breathe in gratitude for your strong, healthy body? Can you breathe in gratitude for the tiny miracle growing within you? And one more big breath in gratitude for the safe space to practice, the props to support you, your breath to guide you. And exhale, sink deeper and deeper into that space. You can pause me again and take this time for yourself in stillness and silence. I will close you off before you go with a big thank you for tuning into this class, for joining me in this practice and trusting me to guide you. From my heart to yours, namaste.